to access your WordPress dashboard, you want to go to your URL right here and at the end of it type slash WP dash admin and hit enter. From here, just enter your username and email address, which we created previously when we were setting up our hosting account and we were installing WordPress. So once you have finished adding your email address and password, you can check remember me and click login. All right, so before we start adding themes, plugins, content to our WordPress blog, I just wanted to walk you through all the tools which are right here in WordPress dashboard. So let's start with the dashboard and the home section. As you can see in home section, there's not a lot of important settings, just like you can see comments, activity, events which are happening near you. Uh, basically, this section is not very important, but the second section updates is quite important. So right here, you will see available updates for your themes, plugins, plugins or even your WordPress. So it's a good practice to keep everything up to date. So once you see available updates, don't ignore them, just uh, update the plugins or themes. And yeah, this is a good practice. So don't ignore these recommendations. Post section is meant for blog posts. So you can check all posts, you can add new, you can create categories, you can add tags. So later on, I will show you how to add new blog posts, how to use WordPress text editor and all other information. So this section is meant for blog posts and this section media section is meant for your media files like images and videos so you can add uh, new photos you can check the library and once you click you'll be able to see all your media files right here and of course you can add new files by clicking here or there in pages section, you should keep important information for your users. Like as you can see right here, this one was created by default. Privacy policy, such information as about, contact us page. Let's say if you have an e-commerce store, maybe you could add such page as shipping and delivery, other page like returns and refunds. So all these pages, which might be important to your visitor should be added here. It's completely different from blog posts. All right, in comment section, basically you will be able to see all the comments you can add them to the trash you can move them to spam folder you can edit them reply to these comments and right here in offer section you will see who left this comment usually there's like a name so this should be a name uh, some people even leave their website address email and under the email address you should see an IP address so in this section you can moderate all the comments so this section WordPress forms this section and that section these are just plugins they came with our hosting it depends what hosting services you are using most of them they have different uh, plugins pre-installed by default so as you can see hostinger has wordpress forms all-in-one wordpress migration tool and lightspeed cache plugin appearance section is all about appearance so from here we will be able to add new themes we will be able to customize that theme and in widgets section basically widgets are like small blocks of information which you can display in various places of your website uh, uh, once we install a certain theme, we are going to have even more widgets, which we will be using in a certain places of our website. In menu section, we will be creating menus like footer menu, main navigation menu, and so on. The background section is not very important because it goes together with customization section and we will not be using theme editor because if you are just a beginner and you are starting out uh, I really doubt that you will ever need to use this section maybe in the future with a child theme but not for now and plugin section we will be adding new plugins we can check all installed plugins right here so as you can see we have some active and inactive plugins as you probably saw before in H panel settings and yeah we can can use this section to add new plugins and we will not be using plugin editor just like we are not going to use theme editor it's basically these two things are the same this one is meant for editing themes and this one is meant for editing code of plugins so instead we will be using customization settings and we will not be editing any code ourselves in user section we can check all users as you can see I'm the only one user right here so I'm administrator we can add new users you can fill up the form and choose the role of a new user if it's going to be subscriber contributor author editor or administrator and your profile we can do some changes to my profile we can change admin color scheme but I'm just gonna leave it as it is tool section is not very important you can use it to import and export WordPress settings and uh, basically export personal data check the site health but I usually never use this option later on once you install some plugins or themes 
streams there might be added new tools new sections so yeah this section for now is not very important all in one wordpress migration like i said before it's just a plugin this particular plugin is for migrating your website from one hosting to another this is the plugin you can use to migrate your website in settings section later on i will talk a little bit more about all these settings which are the most important settings and this section like i mentioned you before is a plugin we are not going to do any changes this cache plugin helps our website to load a little bit faster for our users and uh, we are not going to do any changes whatsoever because uh, everything is good by default so since now you know every single tool right here we can move on to other lessons